Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start clearing our space. <laughs> She's singing her daddy a song. <laughs> Oh, what she loves her she I love my daddy in my heart tonight. Oh. That's the name of the song. I love my daddy in my heart. <laughs> that is so sweet. Okay. So, so I'm going to turn on the water. Uh, Mom is being quiet. Okay. Yeah, I know. Doggy, lay down. Down. Okay, so should we get started or should we wait for Alicia? She says she's going to be about 20 minutes late. You guys want to get started? It doesn't matter to me. I'm not in a hurry, so it doesn't matter to me. Sure, it's it's whatever. Um, I'm, I'm doing my nightly routine for bed. I'm socks and shoes and... <laughs> oh, hi. There, I got it. I've been messing with it, so... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, um, Vanessa, do you have to, can you wait around for Alicia or do you have to go to bed? That's fine. I can wait. I mean, I can get out whenever, right? Like, you know, if I get Yeah, you can always get out. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. All righty. Yeah, we'll wait on her. So who, you, Vanessa, did Alicia do the reset on you? Yeah, I had a little distractions in the background. So, I mean, I did feel that energy, but then I don't know if it's like I saw your little uh, where it had like uh, where you feel like guilty, fear, whatever, you know, when you do the ERT or something. Mm -hmm. And I was looking, I was like, maybe I'm feeling that energy. You know, it's not, you know, what am I trying to explain? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, I don't know. But, but you yeah, don't feel like a bunch of energy yeah. now? Stop. No, I feel exhausted because I was tired or I worked and the work just drains me, me where I work. Are you doing your cloud clearing every night or at least once a day? I'm doing it every day. Okay. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. How long ago did she do the transfer on you? Look, you dummy, quit it was licking three me. days ago. Three days ago? And you didn't feel any any shift on that first day? You didn't feel a lot of energy on the first day? First day, yeah. I felt like I was just, uh, I don't know, like on wheels, but then I still felt drained. Because she had done it like right after I'd gotten off work. I don't know if I was concentrating on it or not because I had like at my little one, you know, I was still doing stuff and I was trying to concentrate. So I don't know if that kind of distracts and you're not concentrating on it. So I felt with lots of energy, but then I felt like like kind of I, I don't know. It was a different. It was a weird feeling. So I don't know. Well, I don't think, I don't, I do feel like it worked. Okay, good. Maybe I'm just getting it little by little. I don't know. But doubt, if you put in doubt, then that's also will stop the process. That will, it, that's why on the, on the thing, Beverly always says, you have to make sure that you tell your clients not to doubt the process because it will slow it down. So if okay. you're getting, if you're letting doubt take in, then it's going to slow down the process. Um, 
Okay. And the cloud clearing is really good because you will release a lot of emotions. And then if you don't clear them, you just feel really terrible after a while. Like that's why I wrote on that thing that I was, I was so pissed off. I was ready to just like, <laughs> <I've been> <laughs> <there>. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't even my own. And then when I cloud cleared the next day, cause I woke up pissed again, I woke up and then I cloud cleared when I was drinking my coffee and then all of it drained away. And I was like, Oh, that anger wasn't even mine. <laughs> yeah, it's helped me out tremendously too. Like I, you know me, I always worry about everything. And ever since I've done that, I've just let everything go and nothing bothers me anymore. Like it's amazing. I just, I feel like a different person altogether. Yeah, I like just, it. And you have to trust most of yeah. the anything. You just have to trust that it's working right. and stuff like that. Yep. And that's what I kept telling myself. I was like, you know, I've started over. This is a new me, you know, everything in my life. I don't believe anymore. You know, I'm just starting fresh. The last item you ordered for me. And it was so good. Like I've just, and then I've been doing my cloud clearing every night before I go to bed. Cause I feel like it's bet for me, it's best to do it a night right before I go to sleep because I feel like it's clearing me over through the night so when I wake up in the morning I'm refreshed I feel better I'm happy I have the energy to go through my day no matter what happens okay so well, I mean it's it's changed me a lot like a lot a lot I and it's amazing because what just a couple of weeks ago Alicia was talking about kicking my butt and I was depressed and I wasn't going to the gym now I'm going to the gym and I just have like this amazing positive attitude towards life and everything it's it's different yeah, I really started going to the gym too, pretty hardcore, just like the last couple weeks after the clearing. <sighs> well, I do it and I do the cloud clearing in the morning, and for me, in the morning, it works wonderful. But I'm thinking I'm gonna try the night. I just don't have time in the morning when I get up, I've got, you know, my son to get ready for school. Then I got kids coming in at seven 30. There's just no time for me. So I just feel better at night because you're, you're relaxing, your body's going to relax. And then it's just going to let go of everything. Like when I do it at night, right before I go to bed, I just focus on it and I'm like, okay, you're going to take everything away and I'm good. And it does, it takes up all. And I feel refreshed the next morning and start my day all over again. I get like a headache though when after I do it. Is that normal? Actually, I get a headache and I clear and it goes away. Yep. Like, okay, okay, sorry. Just I think we all had headaches when we first started it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay then. And then it'll go away, it'll eventually go away because I, ha I had it for a couple, like almost a week after they did it. Yeah. <laughs> and then it went away, it finally went away. It's not raining outside, but I hear like the rain. So weird. <laughs> Out my window is not raining, but in the backyard, I can hear the trickling of the rain hitting like the porch. Oh. <laughs> so, okay. So do you guys want a few minutes to think of what you guys are going to manifest this time? This week, this month, I mean, sorry. Era. Fuera de aquí, vete a tu casa. Her dog is so cute, is so big, and has such a lovely coat. Show us your dog, Sahira. Yeah, <laughs> she's bothering you. What kind of dog is it? It's a pit bull. A pit bull? Yeah. Very, I have a boxer dog. They're they're wonderful. Oh, yeah. how cute is he? Her coat is so shiny, though. I've never seen a dog with a coat that nice. You should come see my Doberman. Her coat is really, really shiny. Oh. Food I feed her. There's, here's mine. No. Oh. Yours, oh. is yours is a boxer? That's a boxer? Yeah. yeah. I don't think boxers are white. 
Yeah. Very weird, but. Yeah, he's, he's a boxer, a full blood boxer. They're rare. He's got the white, uh, the brown patch on one eye. Oh. What is that? What's the name of the TV show that had that dog with the spot over his eye? Oh, Little what is rascals. that? Little Rascals. Yep. Great. Oh, I've been been eaten by mosquitoes today. Oh, oh they're so bad. Oh my goodness, they're bad everywhere. They are bad everywhere. Come here, kitty cat. That's funny. Oh, you know who we're also missing? Nadia. Oh yeah. She's oh so yeah. Sweet. Hey, you know you're recording this, right? No, I didn't realize it. Hold on, let me pause. It says record. <laughs> So energetically holding hands. Oh. And fill us with unconditional love. So Father, Mother, Creator of all that is, it is commanded that you feel anyone watching this video, anyone here present with unconditional love, every molecule, cell, atom of their being be full of unconditional love for their highest and best. Thank you. Okay, so just witness as this pink light from the creator of all that is comes into your crown chakra, fills your body with unconditional love, and just feel it as the love fills up your body, that it goes out your hands, and that it connects with the persons you're holding hands with. Just allow this energy. So focus on your heart space. Opening up your heart chakra. I want you to imagine that in the center of the circle is this pink little heart and you're gonna connect your heart energy with that heart. So we're all gonna focus on that little heart there in the center. We're gonna send loving energy to Nova Gaia. Manifest money. Manifest money. Slowly sending energy. Just witness it as, as it goes all over the globe, lighting up Mother Gaia as a pink earth. Okay, so focusing on this loving energy, going deep and healing every aspect that needs healing. the animals, the land, making up for the mistakes that man has done and just tossing trash wherever. Focusing on sending her love. Okay. And then I just want you to focus on your hometown. So imagine as your hometown, <clears throat> excuse me, as the people standing in your hometown, the energy of love comes up their feet all the way to the top of their head quickly, filling up your whole town with unconditional love. And then you witness your town, your state, North America, quickly and fast, filling the whole country, the whole continent with unconditional love. Let's move across the ocean to Europe. 
in Asia and Africa and then to Australia. Just watch as the whole continent turns pink. And I say pink, but you guys can imagine any color you want. Okay, good. So bringing us back to the circle where we're holding hands. We're going to supercharge your money right now. So we're going to, I want you um, to imagine that we're adding the money that you have here on the altar or the table, whatever. You put in the circle where the heart is, your wallet, whatever you have to charge tonight. And then once again, from a heart space, we're gonna send out love into the heart space and we're gonna charge everyone's wallet, everyone's money with love to attract it more. We want more love. We can change our beliefs that money, money is an energy. So we can change the belief that money is the same as love. So the more you give, the more you receive. And it comes back tenfold. Whatever you put out there comes back tenfold. Supercharging it with everyone's energy. So I'm going to do a data download on money. So I'm going to witness it for you guys. Father, Mother, Creator, while that is, it is commanded that the money in the circle receive the feeling of love, that it be attracted to more love, that whenever it's used, it comes back tenfold. Thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. Show me. Okay, good. So now it's being, now that I witnessed it. Okay, good. So next, I want us to go ahead and add the piece of paper to on top of the money pile. Just gonna keep charging and charging and charging and charging. So next goes the piece of paper. So we're gonna send our love energy to it. And I want you to focus a little bit in your heart. So from your heart space, I want you to, what, you, what do you really, really want to manifest this month? So I want you to visualize it, feel the emotion of having it from your heart space. The love calms and also hits the piece of paper. So you're visualizing the energy coming out through your heart space. But the movie of what is playing out is like inside the heart space as well. So feel what you want to feel, what you want to manifest. Use as many emotions as you can. How does it feel? How does it taste? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? What are you touching? So I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to do that.
Okay, good. So So invoking the circle around us. Okay, so I'm going to pause the recording and you guys can start writing on your sheet of paper. I'm going to unmute you guys. Okay, so let's get back in our circle now that our piece of paper is written on. And we're going to add that piece of paper that's written on back to the circle. We're going to send our heart, our love from our heart space again. And again, you're going to vision what you want to manifest. So in order of the things written down, just spend a little time going down the list. The dog wants the energy too. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting a headache. Okay, good. Okay, so next we're going to focus on focus back ourselves in our in the circle holding hands. We're going to call on the, the element of water and air. That it rain gently wherever it's needed, where there's drought, where there's fires taking place right now. So imagine your heart beating this love projection up into the sky and it forms a rain cloud. And just watch it as it moves over fires and it gently rains, putting out the fire. Gently rains, gently rains, putting out the fires all around the world, wherever there's droughts. Okay, good. So let's let me clean your guys' energy field. You guys give me permission to clean your energy field? Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So Father, Mother, Creator of all that is, it is commanded that anyone watching this video have the energy clean, cleansed and cleared of negative thought patterns, low vibrational frequencies, wayward spirits, anything we've released that we're ready to let go of right now. Streaming in 12 through the ninth dimensional frequencies of hell. Thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. Show me.
Okay. So now let me just ground you. So let's imagine ourself as a big, beautiful tree in the middle of the forest with roots growing out of your feet. Deep into Mother Earth, we call in the energy into our root, into our legs, past our hips, all the way to the top of our head. Calling forth this energy into our own, mixing it. Grounding us, filling us with unconditional love from Mother Gaia. So now we're gonna take the money and our pizza papers. And we're gonna send it up to source. Sorry, I just got guided to do that. So <laughs> we're gonna take it up to source, even though we're grounded. So cut off your connection as being a tree. I want you to open up your root chakra, connect it to the heart chakra of Mother Earth, tying it down, making it wide, as wide as you need. Then I want you to grab some Earth energy from Mother Gaia, bring it up into your Earth Star chakra, your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your seal, your third eye, your crown, the top of your head. It makes a ball, a Merkaba you're perfectly safe to travel up to the seventh plane. So we're going to travel and we're going to inside our Merkaba is our piece of paper and our money. We're going to all take it up there together. So you can make your Mer Merkaba any color you want. Then focus on it going up. And you see your house, the roof your city, your state, your country, planet Earth, and then we go faster, 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 past the moon, past the sun, past the solar system, past all the known planets and stars, going faster, 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 till we get to the edge of the universe. Then we go up through the layers of light, the first one, the second, the third, the fourth, we get to the fifth plane and it's a golden light. It feels like home. This is where the ascended masters and the angels live. This is where our family is when they're not incarnate on earth. So you can feel the connection of being home when you're here. We're gonna keep going. So the next step is another layer. And this one's a jelly-like substance and it feels dark and thick like jelly. But as you merge through the other side, you see beautiful colors and mist. So we walk straight until we see this pink mist. This is the law of compassion. We bathe in the law of compassion. And then this one will help us lift us or push us to get to the seventh plane where the creator of all that is, is located. So he can either lift you, the law of concussion can lift you or push you up to the seventh plane. And when you cross over to the other side, you look down and you realize you're just energy. So we go to the center of this room. There's just bright light, very sparkly and bright, but it doesn't hurt the eyes. It might be iridescent with colors of pink or blue. The moment you connect to this energy, you feel this calmness. This is the theta state. You're connected to the creator of all that is. The illusion of separation falls away. So you just know that you know that you are with one that all that is. You belong and you're connected to everything on this planet, in this universe, in this galaxy. You are the same, you are one.
So let's enjoy what this feels like. And from your hand, you have a piece of paper. We're just going to make the command. So you're going to say this in your head. Father, Mother, Creator of all that is, it is commanded that I already have everything on this list for my highest and best. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Show me. Okay, so we're going to imagine ourselves in the middle of the universe as this giant. And you have this fishbowl. And in this fishbowl right now is your current life, how it is right now. You stick your hand inside the fishbowl and you turn it. And as you're turning it, you're seeing the manifestations coming true for what you're wishing for. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and spend some time again manifesting. I'm going to mute myself too. Okay, that made me super hot. Did you guys get hot with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So now let's, now that we have our piece of paper, I'm going to bring you guys back down to earth. So we're going to come back the same way we came. So we'll go back to the door. Climb out. You're back in your Merkaba as your human form. See the law of compassion. He's there waiting for you. He assists you down, pushes you to the other side of the jelly light structure. You go to the golden light. Take a nice deep breath in and out. It always feels so good here. Anyways, we're going to keep going. So fourth plane, third plane, second, first. Back into your universe, we're going to go super fast past the central sun into our solar system. You see the earth and the moon. And you very quickly see North America, your home. Come to a halt. You go slower and slower and slower to get back into your room. Okay, and I want you to visualize you going back into your crown and going into your heart space and back past your heart space all the way to the center of the earth. You're going to scoop up some energy and you're going to bring it back up. We're going to clean your chakras and ground yourself at the same time. So bring up some energy up into your earth star chakra, your root, your sacral. Solar plexus, your heart, your high heart, your throat, your zeal, your third eye, your crown, and the two above your head. Just allowing this energy to just shoot out through your crown and your galactic star and your soul star chakra above your head. Okay, so now you're safe on Mother Earth again. You can take a nice deep breath and you can open your eyes. Okay, how do you guys feel? Oh. <clears throat> I 
feel like refreshed or something like that. I don't know <laughs> if I'm feeling her, if I'm making any sense, but that's, that's how I feel. Refreshed, yes. We have a little baby there watching us. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm changing the diaper, so my phone's laid down on the floor and she's just kind of doing what she wants. <laughs> that's a fine. <laughs> We can use your energy as well, right? It's nice and clean and bright. She's so silly. <laughs> <laughs> She's howling. <laughs> what are you doing, silly girl? <sighs> I feel my friends. so good right now. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. So I, I just go out and burn the paper too, huh? No, this one you don't burn. You keep it and you look at